One. Previously on Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model, Letitia won the challenge and had to make a tough decision. Um, and you have five minutes less on your next shoot. The girls got romantic on a photo shoot in Paris. I need a kiss on this one, eh? So I've talked to that guy for a kiss, I thought, all right then. And Anne failed to impress and left the competition. I'm really disappointed. This time, there are walkouts. This has nothing to do with becoming a top model. Fallouts. Did you bully me with all your, I don't know who I'm fencing today. I'm done being nice right now. And breakdowns. Sorry, I'm not in your face saying, oh, hi, Julie. I'm so excited to see you again. I came very close to losing it all at the last elimination and I'm not going to let that happen this week. I'm here to stay and there's no way I'm going home. The elimination was horrible. <laughs> horrible, horrible, horrible. Did not see Anne going no way. Girls! Elmer! Hi girls, you better you start practicing those poses as tomorrow you'll get a chance to display your full model potential. Love, Elle. We're going to be loads of mannequins. Yeah. Oh my god, that'll be so much fun. It's not fun. You have to stand for a really long time. I think so too. I think tomorrow we'll be stood in a shop window having to hold poses for hours on end. Maybe Maggie's the biggest pose in the house, I'd say. Madeline loves to pose. <laughs> she poses at morning, noon and night. I do a camera. When we turned up at Carnaby Street, it was like pouring rain and it was freezing cold and we were like, oh my God. Hello girls. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Carnaby Street, one of the most famous shopping destinations in London, if a little bit wet today. Now, as a model, you know, you have to get used to a lot of people looking at you all of the time. What makes a really good model is being able to stand out. So today, you're competing against each other for the attention of the passing public. <laughs> oh, and uh, did I mention that you have to be on the red carpet for an hour in the rain? So you might want to change your poses just so you don't look bored. One hour in the rain, posing in front of strangers. It's like... How am I going to do this? Off you go, get yourself ready. Whoever gets the most votes wins. Good luck, bring your game face. <laughs> okay girls, the hour starts now. Good luck and strike a pose. Judging girls is tough, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard life. Such beautiful girls. Do you need yeah. to have another little look at them? Yeah, I think so. Just have a little look. Have another little look. We have to stand there out in the rain whether we like it or not, so there's no point in complaining. I just got on with it and, you know, had fun. Who's grabbing your attention? Is there a few? Is there one girl? Um, I think number two. She's hitting some nice poses. It's tricky. Number three is lovely. Number seven is nice. And number six. My pose represented the way I feel. Yeah, my face said it all that I don't want to be there. Nine is looking a bit too affected by the coldness. Yeah, that's, is that, that's not a happy face no. really, is it? She's not going to get your Ooh, vote. Quite, no. No. It's ridiculous. Like, this has nothing to do with becoming a top model. Number nine looks like she doesn't really want to be there. Yeah. Can we get her to turn around? Yeah, we need you to turn around. I absolutely hated the moment when these two ladies came and they said, oh, girls, you know, you look great. And then she said, oh, turn around. And she started looking at their butts. No mistake, where did, where did you get that off? <laughs> Some girls sort of laughed it off, but I, I don't think it's funny at all.
When she ran off, I felt so bad. I went after her to make sure she was all right. That's fine to be on display, but being told to turn around so mm -hmm. that they can take a look at your butt, I mean, no, thank you. So how are you feeling now? What, what do you want to do? No, give it a go. I just don't give see go. Go together. any point. Go, and give some poses. Go on. Hopefully she's going to get into the spirit of things, because the other girls are having fun. It's, it's a challenge, and it's called a challenge for a reason. This is just dumb. I know, but you just have to get on with it. Who's your favourite? Um, me, number two. For you, number two. Oh, you were straight in there. I didn't even have to ask it. Only one. Only one. So, what do you want to pick them all? <laughs> I kind of ran out of poses. I don't want to do this. All of a sudden, I just wanted to, to get out of there. Really, I was just missing my daughter so much today. I'm just so stupid, and I miss those. I wasn't going to give up. I just needed those few moments to just step back from it all. Just give yourself a minute. Compose yourself. Get back in. Last 15 minutes. Just knock them dead. Okay? I'm so lucky to be here and we're getting all these amazing opportunities. Like, I just don't see the point in complaining. I'm, I'm delighted to be here. I'm delighted to be out in the street if it means that I can, you know, get further in this competition. Congratulations, girls. You've been on the red carpet for one hour. Time is up. At the end, when they were announcing the winner, they also announced the person who got the least votes. The person with the least votes was Kelly. I just felt shocked. I mean, how? I don't get it. It was very unfair that Kelly got less votes, considering she, was, she gave it her all. So you just keep on being a positive person, the good things will happen. Not about it. The person with the most votes and who will get a shopping spree on Carnaby Street and get to bring a friend is Emma. I want a challenge. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was so happy. Like I really wanted to win the challenge and I finally did it. Yay! Emma, who would you like to bring with you on the shopping spree? Oh, I'm going to pick Letitia. Letitia needs to stay with me. Yeah. Well, well done. Congratulations again, Emma. You get to stay here in Carnaby Street. The rest of you, I'm sorry, it's back to the house. Bye. Bye. Coming up, the knives are out at dinner. You bull out of me with all your... I don't know who I'm fencing today. I'm done. I'm done being nice to her now. And Julian is less than impressed. You lot came to see me for casting. I would actually tell you to leave. hanging out in the living room and we had a doorbell oh and it was takeaway yay oh so we started eating and we noticed there was um, a bag with desserts and it was fortune cookies and we sort of guessed that it's going to be some provocative questions I was so nervous I was sitting next to Kelly and we kept on like looking at each other and being like, what is going to happen next? Who has the most annoying habits? I'm sorry, Jen, I have to say it's you. You don't annoy me, annoy me, but just sometimes I feel like you're trying to force your opinion onto people. The meal itself was very nice, but um, it got rather awkward afterwards. No, it was quite That's interesting it. knowing that. So there, who do you think is the biggest model dealer? Oh, I know, if any of you had this question, you would say me. <laughs> Please. Madeline. I'm a diva. I never had a diva title before. Whatever. Let me say something. I'm not the diva. I just say what I think, and most of the things that I think are honest. Who is the least high fashion out of all the girls? Letitia. Because your face is very pretty and sexy. The thing is, I can range it up. I can do versatile. No, but I'm versatile. No, but I'm great. No, but just love me, love me, love me. And it's like, just get over yourself. Not everybody's gonna want 
that sexy face on the clothes and those humongous knockers. I mean, what? That's not fashion. To be honest, the past three times they haven't mentioned sexy at all. And they've been really nice to you about it. They've been really happy with your picture. So yeah, the exactly sexiness the obviously isn't a big issue anymore. Yeah. So do we all answer this one by one then? Which of the girls would you least like to be paired with, up with for a photo shoot and why? I say Roxy because she'll steal my limelight. <laughs> Maddie, it's your turn. Yeah, probably Anita. Because you're bull out of me with all your... I don't know who I'm fainting today. I'm done. I'm done being nice to her now. I wouldn't like her out of this. Why the hell should I even try to be nice to her in this? I don't like the girl. I think that she speaks people is wrong. I don't think she can get out of this and actually get anywhere because she's so hard to work with. I would not want to be around her after this at all. Nothing you girls can say can shock me. Nothing. What I say always seems to shock you and I don't know why you're shocked. Why are you shocked? Don't you know me? So after the meal we were just all kind of lounging and lying down because we were so full and uh, the next thing, another LML popped up on the screen. Hi girls, in the competitive world of modelling, you have to make first impressions count. You'll be meeting some very important people tomorrow, where it's every girl for herself. Oh, Love, oh Elle. my god. Casting. Casting. Yeah. yeah. Most girls are excited about tomorrow. Um, I think that, you know, it's something different. Like, if it is a casting, I go see. We haven't done anything like that before. So yeah, it'll be good. Hello girls and welcome. Hi. We're joined by top British fashion designer Hassan Hejazi. His designs have been worn by the likes of Kylie Minogue and Jessie J to name but a few. What do you look for in a model? I would just say someone who's very confident, someone who's able to portray sexual power and um, just be themselves and just strut. Not only will I be judging alongside with Hassan, you'll be judging each other. Taking part in a go-see, if, as if that's not scary enough, but we were being judged by the other eight girls. We had to mark each other's walks from one to five, five being the best and one being the worst. You ready, girls? Yeah! I kind of want you to wear this. Do you want to try this one? Let's see your bum. Turn around. <laughs> yeah. When we got the clothes, we realised how small they actually were. <laughs> they said size 8, but they were definitely more like a size 6. Ow, 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 pinching, pinching. Oh well, Maddie had a leotard thing, which she actually couldn't get the zip up on the back. Yeah, there might be a problem. <laughs> I don't think it's going to go. To be honest, I thought my outfit was the best. Although you can zip it up. I love my outfit. Oh, I'm going to get in it. You, you want to zip it? I'm literally going to go down there like this. But not if it doesn't look tight. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most uncomfortable thing I've ever worn. Kelly. Kelly's really good. First up, we'll have Kelly. When I found out that we were going to be judged by the designer and the other girls, I was actually looking forward to it because I just presumed we'd kind of all stick together and, you know, sisterhood and all that and just give each other good marks. What is Kelly's score? But um, once we started, I kind of realised that that wasn't going to be the case. Kelly, you've got a total score of 32. Letitia... I think was being highly competitive today. I was really, really surprised that she gave me a three because her, out of everyone, has kept and praising me about my walk. So for her to turn around today and give me a three, I was there like, oh, that's very rich coming from you. After the catwalk, I did feel quite confident and then the scores were kind of... Obviously, um, no one really went for the higher numbers. Oh, they're all mean! Yeah. They've all given three, one, four. I thought her walk was crap anyway, but I would have given her more marks if she hadn't given me a three. You've got a mean score of 25. It wasn't the three that I was upset with, but it was just the embarrassment of feeling like people really didn't like me. That dress, it just dug into me way too much around my pelvis. I was just in so much pain and I think it just showed on my face. I wasn't sure whether how much you were enjoying it. Um, you looked a bit bored. Really? Yeah. So, Roxanne, you've got a 
the grand score of 22. <laughs> Two is not really good, Letitia. If you cried over three, two's not good. The fact that I got upset at three, people are, I can see getting a bit frustrated with me. Yeah, I mean, I gave it my best shot, but I know my walk's terrible anyway. I love catwalk and stuff, so I was like, this is my time now to shine. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. That's the highest score. You've got 30 eggs. Never do that. It makes you look old-fashioned. 26. That's practically pornographic, that is. <laughs> I think she needed to do her bikini line. It wasn't nice when up close. Did you see anything that was embarrassing? I'm a model. Everything was shaved, everything was clean for landing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Da da da. 22. I did enjoy the walking because I know I have a good walk. You know, I wasn't too crazy about the outfit that I got because I like to show more skin. But yeah, I think it was great. Wow. 36. Oh my god. No, One. That's the lowest score we've had. Why did you give a one? I unfortunately thought, like, Roxanne and stuff was a bit better, and I gave Roxanne a two, so... She'll give a one to Jennifer, and she'll cry because she doesn't have five and fours. That was so hypocritical of me. If you lot came to see me for a casting, I would actually tell you to leave, because you're all talking. Half of you look bored. Roxanne, you know, it's like you look so bored. The thing is, if you don't want to be you, you know, go. So anyway, let's see, you know, who wins and who loses. I was so frustrated because I just wanted to turn around and say, like, how dare you single me out compared to everyone else? Well, I'm not going to pretend to be yeah, something that I'm not. I'm just a laid-back person. I'm sorry I'm not in your face saying, oh, hi, Julie, I'm so excited to see you again. That's mm. not me. I felt really sad. For Roxanne, the fact that Julian singled her out, especially because I was talking to her, so it obviously didn't help things, and so I feel guilty about that as well. Um... Now, the girl who actually got the most votes is... It's Lisa. Hi, you guys. So, anyway, Hassan, what did you think? The girl that I would say, you know, embodies, like, Hassan Ajazi girl, um, is Letitia. Um, with a little bit of tweaking, um, you were the girl that was like playful, sexy, glamorous, so you portrayed that very well. Thank you. I was really happy when Hassan chose me as his favourite. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that helped with the situation with the girls. She has that smirky little flirty look and I think that's why he chose her. I feel like, I don't know, is it that I've been overlooked or maybe they don't like my look? I don't know, you just have to like try harder the next time. Coming up, the girls get a shot with Rizzle Kicks. We just mess around so much and it's like, stop, stop, I'm trying to get the picture of the week here. And Roxanne's in for a surprise. Roxy! <gasps> Oh my god, today was so random. None of us would expect, wasn't it? LL! Hi ladies. Have you been keeping good company with each other? We'll find out soon. Oh. Love LL. Company L. magazine. Oh. Something to company <gasps> maybe? Oh. It's a beauty oh shop. No god. way. Could be. girls, I'm Victoria White, I'm the editor of Company Magazine, and today you're going to be shooting for a six-page feature in the magazine. This is Diana Gomez, and she's a regular company photographer, and she's going to tell you a little bit about the shoot today. Well, the shoot today is all about sports lux, so I need the girls to have lots of energy and attitude. Now, there are nine of you standing here, but actually only six of you will appear in the finished feature, so it's really important that you impress us, because we'll be choosing which six, and Elle's going to let you know later on when you see her. 
Okay, off you go and get style. Thank you. Thank you. The fact that six of the nine girls get to be in a six page spread in the magazine is absolutely awesome, and I can just say I hope to God that I am one of them. We was all sat in hair and makeup, and then Rizzle Kick just walk in from nowhere. Hello, hello, girls. <laughs> None of us were expecting that at all, so it was like a massive shock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really excited, but at the same time worried because they're singers, they're not models, and I'll have to pose with them. Don't worry, we'll make you guys look really good because we'll be so bad. <laughs> we'll just be really awkward, so you guys will look wicked, don't worry. You know, I like a little bit of flirting, but kind of fun flirting. You know, just imagine that you're really close friends. That's gorgeous, that's nice, beautiful. After Julian told me I'm moody and I look like I don't want to be here, I just had to bring a new attitude today. You just put your hand on his chest and just push him away, yeah? That's it, that's cool, let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, that looks really good, I like that shot. A little bit more action there, a bit more energy. For the first time, I, I was like embracing having my afro. Gorgeous, that's nice. Woo! Okay, I think we got it. Well done, guys. Woo! Perfect. Oh, yeah, it's really fun. To get it? Yeah, they're really, really nice. I get well. it. It'll be interesting for me to do the other girls to see how, how, they, how easy they that go. is, because yes. actually she's making it look really like she's in charge. Beautiful. You look amazing. Are you really, really, really cold? Super cold. Yeah, she's going to have to stop shivering. One, two, three, go. Beautiful. That's it. That's cool. The day shoot was definitely difficult. We had the unknown factors of posing with the boys. We were out in the cold, on the rooftop. Probably the most difficult one yet. Warm up. <laughs> Go again, really cool, kind of hanging out. Yeah. It's a combination of cold plus nerves. It's not very relaxing. I think she is quite uncomfortable as well. Thank you. And this is helping me a lot right now. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I can just see pink, it's so good. <laughs> I almost treated them as if I'd known them for 10 years already, and I was just like, yeah, I'll just put my legs across you and uh, lean against you, yeah? <laughs> it wasn't a cover-up, I just sort of felt quite comfortable in it. She seems incredibly relaxed. I think she's one of those girls that likes boys, so she seems to have really kind of reacted to them. OK, hey, that's it, we're done. Beautiful. And then you're kind of more playful and maybe more kind of hanging out here together. Open your eyes a little bit more. I want to see if I can see your eyes. Throughout the shoot, I was finding it very difficult with the sunshine. I had a hard time with my eyes. And because of that, I think in all of my shots, I was very serious looking. Gorgeous. OK, thank you. She looked a bit phased by the boys as well. She didn't feel like she interacted with them much at all, did she, compared to some of the other girls? True. She was a bit kind of scared to no. touch them. <laughs> that and again, one, two, three. Beautiful. She's doing really well, actually. She's got good moves. She's got a great body. But no, I like her. I think she's good. She's done. Really, really brilliant. I think you did such a good job today. I would definitely think of booking you for the magazine. Are you serious? Yeah, I think you did brilliantly. Thank you so much. Go have more confidence, all right? Yeah. So well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so well. I had so much fun. I was really happy. I've told the girls what Victoria said to me because now they know that I'm in this competition to win it. She's just a complete BITCH, to be honest. I don't care if she's got good things or not. Couldn't care less. I'm going to fight for it even harder now. You look so peaceful, smiling away. Towards the end of the day, Rizzle Kid started to get a bit tired, so they were messing about quite a lot. Bonkers. But I was trying to remember that although it's fun, I need to get the picture that will be published in the magazine. There we go, that's it, that's cool. Beautiful. That's nice, I love that, that's perfect. Although we were pushing each other, I was still trying to concentrate on the camera, the lights, the body shapes. But then at some point, they just pushed me out of the shot, and it was like, what? Come on, you know? <laughs> so, like, you know yeah? Oh, oh, we can't believe the girl in between. So, oh. Out of the frame, I need a little bit.
this is weird. I absolutely loved her when she came out. She's so pretty in person, and she looked like she was kind of part of their band. She looks like she could be a pop star herself. Yeah. But then in loads of the shots, I don't love her as much. They just mess around so much. It's like, stop, stop. I'm trying to get the picture of the week here, you know? So, yeah, I, I don't know. Gorgeous. I think she's doing really, really well. Um, I think she knows it. Yeah, you, got it. you got it. She's not somebody that I particularly warm to out of all the girls today. Um, but God, you know, as a model, she's she's really good. Both of you whisper something in her ear. I'm afraid I can't tell you what they whispered in my ear. <laughs> That's my ears only. No one else about handle it. She's fun. She's definitely not kind of got that same eye on the prize that um, Letitia has. Yeah, try not to be too straight, yeah? And lean back a little bit, hand. Just lean back with your back. That's yeah, it, so you look like you're hanging out, not so yeah. stiff. Lean back with your back. Well done, I think we got yeah. it. I think a lot of the girls today have really struggled with this kind of relaxed, more sort of urban, fashion-y, street-y kind of styling. There's been an awful lot of kind of over-posing and overthinking the shots rather than just hanging out, being cool, and just kind of working with the boys. Dear Roxanne, being a mum, I know how tough it can be working away from your children. It has been weeks for you now, so I have arranged a little surprise for you. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Thank god. You. <laughs> Roxy! <laughs> can't express how amazing it felt. I just overcome with emotions and I couldn't wait to show her off to all the girls and, and then I got to just spend some time with her and it was the best day ever. I was just so happy. But it's definitely given me the strength and reminded me why I am actually in this competition. So I'm definitely more determined to be here than ever now. No idea who's going home tomorrow. The competition's so tough. It's just impossible to know. So we'll have to wait and see. Now anyone can go because we don't know who sort of satisfied clients needs the most. I'm always thinking someone's going to say no, 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 no. And today somebody said yes. It's made a total difference for me in this competition. Even though the client might like you or might not like you, it's all up to the judges. Yeah. Yeah. It's judgment day for our nine remaining girls who are battling it out for the ultimate prize. This year, the winner of Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model will begin her career living in style in a luxury suite in London. As well as a holiday to Dubai, courtesy of Atlantis, the palm and tour operator, Destinology. A contract with leading agency, Models One. A six-page spread and the cover of Company Magazine. A contract with Revlon to front their trend campaign in magazines, on TV and in over 1,000 stores across the country. And an international campaign with Miss Selfridge, which will feature in over 250 stores. And joining the panel this week is hot new Brit model Tally Lennox. Time to find out who'll be leaving the competition. Girls, welcome back to the elimination room, where sadly nine of you will become eight. You know our fabulous judges. And our beautiful guest judge this evening is a girl who is a hot new model who's just signed with Next Model Management. She's worked for Prada, for Missoni, introducing Tally Lennox. So girls, this week you learned that everybody's going to have a different perspective on how you look, from your clients to your fellow competitors and also the public. You also had an exciting shoot with Rizzle Kicks and today I think I am going to start with Madeline. Shall we have a look at your picture this week? Yeah. Tally, there's not really much dynamic with you and Rizzle Kicks, but I mean, you're stunning. I think you're absolutely beautiful. Oh, but yeah, the picture, I think it could use some improvement a little bit. Yeah. Your body looks amazing in this. 
this photo. Your legs look like they're miles and miles long. The only issue I have with the photo is just your facial expression. It looks just a little bit too harsh. And I think for your look, it suits you better when you soften up like what we saw last week. The editor really liked you and they've chosen your picture for the magazine. So oh. uh, you're going to be one of the six girls that are going to be in the magazine. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. So oh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Next up, we have Anita. Let's have a look at your best shot. Woohoo! Every time I see you, I see you as this gorgeous actress. Tice. I think you're getting it. I really see you getting it. And to me, I love that. I love to see you get it. There's a real progression. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Forget about the Rizzle kicks. The picture is about you. You just look comfortable. Mm -hmm. You look yeah. great. Well done. Also, you were chosen as one of the girls in a magazine. So well done. Brilliant. Thank you. Well done. Coming up, Tyson's not in the mood for excuses. I just didn't feel that it has anything to do with modelling. We could send you home just because of that. And for one girl, it all comes to an end. She looks like she's walking out of the competition. Perhaps it is the end of the road. Jennifer, can you come down, please? Let's have a look at your best shot. I love your body expression. To me, it, that's Italian Vogue. I mean, you owned it, you know? I think it's just almost there, but... It could just have done with that little bit more directness. I think it would be better if you could see more of your face. Unfortunately, the editors didn't choose this shot. Narrowly, you were almost in. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Lisa. How are you? Let's have a look at your best shot. Ta-da! I love the shot. I'm with you on that. Yeah, I really love so it. Who loves it? Yay! We love it. Oh, we love it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I have to tell you congratulations because oh, not only do we all love it, the Thank editor you. in the magazine loves Brilliant. it as well. Brilliant. So you're in. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Leticia, will you come on down? With the Go See Challenge, the girls didn't think you were the best, mm -hmm. but the client did. So how does that make you feel? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Of course. <laughs> to be told to be the favourite is pretty incredible. Now I think it's time to have a look at your picture and see if you've done as well. I think that your face looks really harsh. So not only do you look like you're holding it in, but that you're like slightly constipated or something. <laughs> I'm just not loving this one. I'm sorry. I disagree. Let me tell you why. Oh, we can tell when he disagrees. Only thing you're missing is the door knocker earrings, and this would have been like fresh. <laughs> the clients really thought you were beautiful. They didn't like you as a yeah. person very much. They didn't warm to you. Not that they didn't like you, they yeah. didn't warm to you. But they really loved your picture, and this picture's going to be in the magazine. Oh, wow. So there you go. Thank you, guys. Rissy Cat. I know. Let's talk about walking off the set at the Carnaby Street shoot. What was that about? Okay, well, from the beginning of the day, I had a really low day. And I was a bit homesick. We came on the set and then I found out that we'll have to stand for one hour under the rain in the cold. Just didn't feel that it has anything to do with modeling. There is a certain element of people having a perspective on the way you look. And if you can't deal with it, then this is not the right job for you. I know it's, it is a hard being homesick. You know, you get breaking points. But the reality is no one really cares. To walk off a job, mm, that's not good. Mm. See, we I'm... could send you home just because of that. To me, like, like the way now you, I'm trying to tell you something, you nodding your head? Yeah, I'm taking it in, but it's still no, something I, don't know, I wouldn't be comfortable doing. Let's have a look at your best shot. You look like a gang, you know, you mm. look like the lead singer of the mm. band. And to be honest with you, Risa Cat, you command the picture because the guys really, they blend into the background. They felt the shot was strong and... They're going to put it in the magazine. Really? Oh, so there you go. Oh, thank you. Well See, done. you made up for your walk-off. <laughs> you made up yeah. for your walk-off on Carnaby Street. That's still not acceptable. Well right. done, Rissy Cat. Thank well you. <laughs> Miss Emma, let's have a look at your best shot. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a bit of a tricky one because your mood kind of clashes with them because they look like they're having a, a nice kind of walk and having a good time and you just don't look like you want to be there at all. I think you've got to kind of work with who you're shooting with and make sure that whatever they're doing you've got to correlate to that as well. I'm, I'm not loving it. 
Well, I'm, I've got to say, I kind of disagree. I, I like the picture, you know. It's a very kind of modelly pose in between two sporty guys. So there's a contrast and there's a juxtaposition. But I actually like it. The clients thought you looked uncomfortable and your shot is not going to be featured in the magazine. Okay. okay. Thank you. Kelly. Hi, guys. What's the body language telling you? She's scared. Why are you scared? When we did the street challenge, when we were posing, out of all the girls, I got the least votes. You can't be everyone's cup of tea either. Like. Well, why don't we have a look at your shot as well and see how you went with that? My problem is that I don't really know how I feel about it. Your face looks pretty, but ah, there's something about it I'm just not understanding or feeling. Okay. Unfortunately, the editors didn't love it. It's not going to be one of the six shots in the magazine. Thanks so much. And finally, we have Foxy Roxy. Red carpet challenge, somebody else left the shoot. What went on? The whole competition, I've been struggling a lot with my emotions. Just needed to compose myself. I went back, but... You said you've been emotional, and that's why we organised to have your daughter come and visit you. How was that? It was, yeah, it was amazing. I'm at ease now, because I know she's OK. Shall we have a look at your shot and see how you went? What do you reckon? I don't really like it. You don't like it? No. <laughs> well, the editor loved it. The editor really liked it. The photographer really liked it. You're the editor's and photographer's favourite. They're going to put it in the magazine, so it goes to show you. We don't know for ourselves sometimes. Yeah. Look, it's a great picture. You know, it's fashion, it's young, it's editorial. Well done. Thank you. I just think it's a really well-balanced, strong, good photo. Thank you. So, girls, we've seen all your pictures and we've heard about your week, and now we have to decide which one of you will be leaving us today. Well, who else is going if I'm not? I had the worst, worst photo and the worst, like, good comments out of everyone. Let's wait and see. Guys, another tough decision. Let's talk amongst ourselves and decide who we think should be leaving this week. So let's start with Maddie. I think the problem we're probably all feeling is that the client chose her to be in the magazine, but personally, I think that this is the weakest photo out of the bunch. In this picture, she looks like she's walking out of the competition. Mm -hmm. There's no energy. Perhaps it is the end of the road for Madeline. Anita. She looks like a top model, so mm -hmm. well done. Yeah, she does. She seems like a really nice girl, especially nice when you see a picture with so much attitude. Mm. And then you see her face to face and she seems like she's got a really great energy. Okay, next up we have Jennifer. Kaisa and I loved it. I loved it. We loved it. I thought it was great. I love the shape. I love the attitude she's giving us. I didn't love it as an image, but it's, it does stand out from the others. What about Lisa? Yeah, you know, the picture's strong, athletic, drop-dead gorgeous. She owns the picture. She looks... Incredible! Okie dokie, smoking Leticia. I don't love the pose in this, but I do like seeing her look a bit different. But I think that's because of the styling and not necessarily her. Rissy cat, pussy cat. Yeah, I like it, but she's she's going to get a shock if she has the same attitude and then does this as a full-time career. Because mm -hmm. it's so not like that. If you do that at one job, you're not going to get booked again and your reputation will spread like wildfire. I think, though, she may not have had the best week. She rocks it, and you can't deny that. Emma. Mm. Oh, I know, it's so disappointing. It is. The thing is, we've got to look for a girl who has potential, mm. and I think Emma has incredible potential. Yes. She just needs our help. How can we help her this far along? When is she going to get it? Let's have a look at Kelly now. The thing is with Kelly, I keep falling in love with her personality, mm. but not the model. I we definitely have to separate those and realize what it is we're judging on. Last but not least is Roxy. This photo is a great photo and I think she deserves to stay. Well guys, we've got a lot to think about here and now we need to take some time and send someone home. So I have nine really beautiful models before me. But girls, you know the drill. I have eight photographs in my hands, and these eight photographs represent the girls who are still in the running to becoming Britain and Ireland's next top model. The first name I'm going to call also gets Picture of the Week, and that goes to 
Lisa. Well done. Thank First you. time, no? Yeah, exactly. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Next is another photograph we really love, and this goes to Roxy. Thank you. It's good to have you back. Thank you. Well done. Jennifer. Thank you so Well much. done. Missy Cat. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Anita, come on down. Thanks, Q. It's a really good image for you. Thank you. And Leticia. I know, unlike you to be in the bottom four like this. Thank you, guys. Emma. Big few you. by the skin of your teeth this week. I thought I was going home. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you very much. Kelly and Madeline, please step forward. So Madeline and Kelly, I have only one photograph in my hand. And this photograph represents the girl who's still in the running to becoming Britain and Ireland's next top model. Now, as you know, the name of the girl I do not call must leave immediately. You're here today because both of you had the weakest shots and we have to base our decision on what we've seen today. It's been really tough because one of the images the client liked and one of the images we as a team liked. So who stays? Girls, we decided to go with the client. It's my then. gonna come back. Well done. Oh God. I'm just so happy that I got to be here. Like it's just been it's been amazing. Like and I've made some really good friends. I'm gonna let Miss Lisa the most. Next time on Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model. The girls are in a spin at the photo shoot. Today, ladies, is your nude shoot. <laughs> and the models take on their biggest challenge yet, walking on water. Whoa! One designer fell at the first hurdle, and tomorrow night, Rihanna's latest task ought to trip up a few more. Catch the second instalment of all-new Style to Rock tomorrow at 9. Next tonight, there's bright lights, a big city, and plenty of glitter. There's another chance to catch Steven Spielberg's musical drama, Smash, this time on Sky Living HD.